What's up everybody, Aaron the Silver Gamer here bringing you a short update video regarding the video editor I use, and you may be wondering why I use this particular editor rather than, well, what I used to use, which is Sunny Vegas. And in the background here, we have a Mario Kart Wii Deluxe race on GC and Dino Jungle. Sorry, Dino Dino Jungle, I apologize for the stuttering. It, live commentary is not one of my best things, hence why my LPs don't mainly have commentary. But yeah, first things first, before we get into that, thank you so much for 200 plus subscribers. I didn't think I would get this far on this new channel. It is much appreciated. So yeah, feel free to continue the support. And if anyone's new here, feel free to subscribe and show your support. Also, feel free to check me out on Twitch, TikTok, etc. And yeah, well, on to the update. So for those who have known me for quite some time, even when I was under Aaron MKW fan, Aaron Mario Kart Wii fan, I used a video editor that a lot of people use, known as Sony Vegas, which I did use a, quite a bit up until now, but up until recently I should say. So to put it in perspective, Vegas was one of the best editors, of course there is a way to get that for free rather than having to pay for it, but that's... A, a bit complicated, I know. The way I got it is, well, you know what? It's best I don't get into it, but let's just say I had some friends help me out. Now, for those who have seen my recent videos, you might notice that I have, that you will see in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, the Cyberlink Power Director watermark. Yes, I have permanently switched to Power Director. Now, at one point, I did use both Power Director and Vegas Pro. But I felt like that was a bit too much since I have, well, more than one channel that I edit videos for. One's just a backup channel, one's like a, a shorts channel. I do upload some shorts, ugh, shorts on this main channel as well. But that's beside the point. Basically, it got to the point where I felt like that was a bit too much to handle with two video editors. Like I would use Vegas for one channel, which would be like this one. And Power Director for an IRL channel, which I post stuff that's not related to gaming. So it got to the point where I felt like it was a bit too much, so I switched to Power Director altogether. Because I felt like that was easier. Now, unfortunately, the downside is whenever an update gets released, you have to download that from the Power Director website. And, unfortunately, regarding the watermark, I cannot do anything about that. Because I would have to upgrade to the full version and I would have to pay for that and that's a complicated process. So yeah, you will have to see the watermark in the bottom right hand corner of the screen in every video I upload. I apologize, but there's nothing I can do about that. Anyway, yeah, that's basically why I switched over to Power Direct and why I use that now. It's basically a lot easier now. It does have a lot of the features like Sony Vegas. So yeah, there's that. And yeah, with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope this clears up any questions you may have had or do have on why I use Power Director. Look forward to more content to come, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.